we're gonna share with you our top five places to eat around the walking street. Live life on your own terms. This is Two Doves Nation. Let's fly. Our first one is gonna be Baozi. Baozi. Not sure how you pronounce it, but it's right here. As you can tell, it's one o'clock and this place is still pretty crowded. It's a little loud, but it's visited by like a lot of the trendy crowd here in Ho Chi Minh and it's gotten very good reviews. Let's order some food and see if it lives up to the hype. The menu isn't very big, but everything is looks reasonably priced and it sounded really good and we're all kind of hungry too. So we ordered a smattering or a few different dishes that we're going to try. Overall, this meal was very good. We all got enough to eat and it was very affordable, under $20. But personally for me, I think all of the other stuff besides the bao is better. The place is called Baozi and it's known for its bao, which are the the soft white buns filled with different things but all of their other dishes here are top-notch too so i would definitely recommend to come and give this place a try at Bunch Off 145. It is actually on Walking Street. We wanted to find a restaurant on Walking Street since we were headed that way anyways. And this particular restaurant got rave reviews on TripAdvisor. It has like four and a half stars out of thousands of reviews. So we wanted to give it a try. It's really cute. They have their business card on their chopsticks. And they even tell you how to eat the Bunch Off. This is the pork and uh, like soup or sauce that your bun cha comes with and it comes with noodles and veggies and garlic and chilies. I like mine a little spicy so and I love my garlic. Another option for eating around Walking Street is right here at Sense Market. Uh, it is a marketplace, but they also have a pretty big food court called Asian Food Town. It gives you a lot of options if you're a picky eater. I'm gonna go partake and grab some lunch here at Asian Food Town. This is garlic naan from one of the Indian places. And the nice thing about the food court is you can get a couple of different varieties of things. I also got a pork rice dish from a Vietnamese place here. Altogether, this was $135,000. Food is average and inexpensive. The best thing about this is the variety that it has to offer. So if you have different people who are wanting different things, you can come here and all get what you want. Lotteria is a fast food chain that's found all over Ho Chi Minh City and this particular one is right near Walking Street so we're going to give it a try. For a fast food restaurant it has a lot of good reviews. We bought three burger combos and we got three different burgers and it came with french fries and a Pepsi and then we just ordered the cheese sticks to try. We're going to try our burger. I got the turkey burger. And I got the cheeseburger. My burger is pretty good. 
It's a little bit small. It's a thin patty, but it's seasoned and it comes with lettuce, tomato, and I think maybe some onions and cheese. Not bad for the price. Overall, the meal was pretty good. Um, we all enjoyed our burgers and we even got a couple more because we were still a little bit hungry, but the price was still very reasonable and it's cheaper than even like McDonald's or other fast food places that you find around the city. So we all get this hamburger joint a thumbs up. place to get some breakfast at and we found this little place called Little Hanoi Egg Coffee and it's just about a eight minute walk from our Airbnb. It's in a little alleyway but with 4.8 stars out of five we had to give it a try and find out what egg coffee is all about. Egg coffee has actually been very popular in northern Vietnam since the 1940s when condensed milk became too expensive. People still wanted a creamy texture with their coffee, so they started using eggs. It became famous in Hanoi and now it's very popular all over Vietnam. There are instructions on how to drink egg coffee and I'm going to do it the proper way. First you're supposed to Taste a little bit of the foam. Mm. And then sip some of the coffee. <laughs> and make a mess. That is so good. And then you mix it all together. But it's really delicious. I'm glad we tried it. It's just, I wasn't expecting it to be so thick. It's good. I hope you enjoyed our five restaurants around Walking Street that we shared with you. If you did, make sure you give us a big thumbs up. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Consider becoming a member of the Dove Nation by hitting the subscribe button. This is Amanda reminding you to keep soaring to the end. Out.